Romans 3.23, if a science 2, 8, if a science 2, 1, sin brings separation between us and God. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23, 23 for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23, 8 for by grace are ye saved through faith. And this not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. If a science 2, 8, 1 and made you alive, being dead in trespasses and sins. If a science 2, 1. Dear brothers in Christ, it is with great joy that we are studying the Word of God. Together with you in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. What is sin? The word sin is a new word, it did not exist. It came into existence after man fell into sin. Until then, no one had sinned, everyone lived in harmony. And the word sin did not exist. Why do we say it's a new word? Being that it is part of the beginning of human civilization. About what? Is it then new? If we are to make an analysis in an eternity that there was no beginning, there is no way to measure the time before human civilization. We know only that it is an eternity, taking into consideration where our mind can reach in relation to time. We can understand that before sin are billions and billions light years. And that sin started with human civilization and is just over 6,000 years old. Then, 6,000 years before the millions of light years, it becomes new. We understand then that sin is something new, and that caused a great accident in the history of the universe. Sin changed the root, everything was directed to harmony, life, eternal life. Sin changed the direction, death came, eternal death. What is the effect of sin? Sin causes separation between man and God. Among people who live together, with a degree of close kinship. The normal thing is to love each other, and to have a feeling of pleasure, one with the presence of the other. Both in family, members and between spouses. There is a pleasure of the father to be in the presence of the son, and there is a pleasure in the child, in the presence of the father. There is the pleasure of the bridegroom in the presence of the bride, and there is pleasure of the bride in the presence of the bridegroom. However, separations are common. What causes separation between humans? Usually what causes separations between people are incoherent attitudes, and attitudes that attack the other, and attitudes that cause suffering and harm to the other. This we say that such attitudes offend one of the parties where it comes to the conclusion that it is no longer possible to live together because the offense was very great. The offense is so great that it kills love. And when love dies, another feeling is born, which we call hate. We are doing an analysis of the forms of interpersonal relationships to clarify what sin has caused between man and God. The Word of God said that we were dead in our offenses. One and made you alive, being dead in trespasses and sins, if a science two, one. What was the offense that man done to God? The man offended God when he ceased to listen to God's directions, and began to listen to Lucifer's directions. The man with this attitude brought an unprecedented offense. We can say that the man betrayed his creator, exchanging him for Lucifer. We, when someone replaces us with another person whether in friendship or marriage, also characterizes serious offense. And it becomes so serious that it no longer allows mutual coexistence, love dies, and hate is born. And hate grows. Dear brothers, our study today is a reflection, we are at the end of the year. We need to ponder what has value, and what has no value, what builds, and what destroys. The Holy Spirit is revealing to us that with the entry of sin into planet Earth, man allowed Lucifer to be the ruler of this planet. And with the permission of man, Lucifer created his kingdom here. To understand this, let's read in Romans 3, 23, 3. Here in this text, it clarifies why man has separated from God. With this sin which in our eyes it was a great offense to God. For we have replaced the creator of heaven and earth by the cruel Lucifer, for it says, 
for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 continues to clarify the separation from man and God, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 The effect of sin led to death, but God in his knowledge, in his mercy sent his Son, to make a reconciliation between us and God. In order for this reconciliation to take place, it is necessary for man to deprive Lucifer of his life and to elect God again as his counselor. And we again choose to belong to the kingdom of God.